You mentioned the number 755, and someone's going to say, Hank Aaron, career home runs. That's it. Here comes your first play. Roger Maris, 1961, hit 61 homers. 511, career wins for Cy Young. So every play, there are numbers there to tell a story. And the stat cast part of it helps you see, you know, some cool numbers. How fast was that play? How hard was that throw? How long was that ball hit? I know it's cutting edge technology, but in terms of embracing statistics, that's always been a part of the game. We're just going next level now. My name is Greg Kane. I'm the director of baseball data for Major League Baseball. Statcast is a combination of radar technology and optical tracking technology that tracks everything for a given play in a given baseball game. The radar technology is very good at tracking the ball. And the optical tracking is very good at tracking the players in a very large space. The two systems kind of hand off to each other so that they can create a complete three-dimensional picture of what's happening for every play. Three, two, one, and we're up. The radar technology is based on technology that tracked missiles and space shuttles as they were launching to see if there was debris falling off. It tracks things that move very fast, very well, with high level precision. It tracks the ball at about 40,000 hertz, or 40,000 frames a second. Then the optical tracking system tracks at 25 frames per second, but that's bumped up to actually 30 so that it can match what's on broadcast. Stand by Bo, going to break. We have two cameras dedicated to the StackCast. Pin right slightly. Hold your shot. Yeah, baby. We can do live metrics and then more in-depth kind of numbers. How about uh, his arm strength first? So if you have a home run, within a, a minute or two, we can turn around the exit velocity, the distance. Matt here is our operator tonight. He's able to feed a replay to our tape machine. Exit velocity, right of second, tornado. Ball trail, yes, no? Yes. Copy. We're able to capture that and marry it with other beauty looks of the home run. You also see the corresponding graphic with how far the ball was hit, what speed the ball was hit, what angle the bat was positioned at when the ball was impacted. You're able to break down just what makes these guys so good on the baseball field. Just to see those numbers come up and be able to turn those around almost real time, it's pretty cool, you know? It's entertaining, but it's also become a key part to actually documenting the play. The data that we capture for each game is provided to the clubs the next morning after the game for competition purposes. They have access to the entire data set for all games. It will be a great way for the clubs to detect somebody coming off of injury if they're really back to where they were, if they need a day off. We're trying to find the players that are value that are out in the market. People have said that this is the holy grail of Moneyball. I think we're going to see more and more discoveries, if you will, making decisions on who to sign in part based on the metrics. The Houston Astros figured this out, and they signed a guy by the name of Colin McHugh. He had washed out with the Mets, was not a very good pitcher, but they saw that the spin rate on his curveball was off the charts, and they realized that was a weapon that he wasn't using nearly enough. So based off the spin rate of the curveball, they signed this guy. He's been a great pitcher for them. And he got him on strikes. It's going to be neat to see how those elements forecast who's just not being talked about yet. It's very similar in a statistical approach, but this provides something they didn't have before, true quantitative measurement of skills. There's always room in baseball for mythology. It's one of the reasons we love the game. We're not trying to get rid of mythology, but what we can do now is compare players of completely different eras. Legends of the past were legends because we just anecdotally said this guy was really good. And now with this new technology, we'll be able to, in a hundred years, compare somebody in the future to David Ortiz. We can go back and pull out new measurements of things that we just hadn't thought of before, things that we haven't had time to build yet. This is a whole new place to go with numbers. We're just really scratching the surface right now. As more data comes in, we'll have better context to explain what these numbers mean and compare player to player and era to era. Did Bob Feller throw faster than Jacob DeGrom? Who knows? It's a good argument, but now we can define that. Giancarlo Stanton hits the ball harder than anybody else in baseball. It's crazy. He's such an outlier. 20, 30 years from now, when there's the next Giancarlo Stanton, we'll actually be able to compare if he hits the ball as hard as Giancarlo Stanton. That's pretty cool. Basically, every week, you kind of learn something. You know, for television purposes, it just started this year. It's really helped to just bring you a little more inside. 
It'll make the in-game experience much more engaging. You'll be able to understand more context about what these players are doing and really see the skills that they have. The fans will see almost instantaneously whether or not that last play is something that people haven't seen before. I think it adds to the enjoyment of the game. We all can recognize a good play when we see one, but now StatCast can tell us in numerical terms what made that a great play. I mean, it's like going down the rabbit hole in terms of numbers. All right, guys, good. good. All right, see you down here.